and welcome to the brand new episode of the Bearded Thinker 3D Printing Bunker. Today we are going back to the, our initial test. Which is better? Original Ender 3 Pro flexible bed or energetic with a PEI sticker? So let's start! Okay, so let's go to the differences in setup from the previous test to this one. First of all, I have damaged my <laughs> spring steel sheet metal uh, bed a bit. As you can see, there's a stripe here, there are stripes here, and there is a stripe here. It doesn't, as far as I've seen it in the last 100 hours of print, it doesn't uh, impact the print, but it does impact the quality because you get those marks on every print on the bottom. But the biggest difference is that now I'm running my printer fully on SKR 1.3 with TMC 2209 stepper drivers. I have new springs on the bed and I also have a BL touch installed. Before I printed this print and this print, what I did, I did four or five tests with BL touch to get the mesh for the bed. Then first I try to, as much as I can, uh, level it with the screws. And when I couldn't do anything else with that, then I proceeded with the leveling it through the software or with the BL touch. First thing I printed was this, because I had it already installed on the printer. Then I repeated the setup with this one, meaning that I've installed it on the printer, did a BL touch mesh. Uh, after that, I checked a couple more, more times to see if everything is correct. And I'll, only after that, I started printing. Second thing, I again used the Dell Design PLA. It was printed at 220 degrees and the bed was heated at 55 degrees. That's it from the setup side. And now let's look at the prints and the differences in the prints. So this is the first print, we are ignoring artifacts here, those and those, and those here. This is something that is not related to this test. This test is for the bed adhesion, for the uh, spring steel sheet bed with PE, uh, PEI sticker on it. If we carefully get it up, you will see that still all the corners are glued to it. Unfortunately, this one has started to uh, detach, but this is just because I'm giving it a bit of curve and it's uh, detaching as this is normal for the elastic bed. But let's pop it up now. As you can see, bottom side, Every part of the print was attached to the uh, bed, except maybe this corner here. Let me magnify it. So, as you can see on this corner here, there is a bit of warping. And we can see that warping also on this part. That means that the print has detached itself from the bed due to the temperature change but other parts of the print are more or less okay and there is not a big warp on the upper side of the print. It's just warping of this thin corner here and warping of this corner here. So the bed did stick well. Um, I've now printed almost 200 hours or maybe even more on this bed. 
I think that the next video in two weeks will be about my prints. So this is more or less same as it was on the first test. I have to be careful not to fold it too much. As you can see here, we do still have some kind of artifacts. One of the problems maybe is that I used Octoprint Octolabs and I use it in such a way that it stops printing at the, uh, each layer change and moves head out of the way to this position here so that my webcam can take a snap of the print uh, layer by layer. Again, as with the original test, you will see here we have a pretty steep problem with the print detaching itself from the board. Let's take it off. One thing, as you can see here, it's almost impossible to detach itself. Why, one thing I did notice is that... Uh, one thing I did notice is that even though the bed was level, and I think it was, uh, when looking at the mesh, even leveled better than the uh, spring steel sheet bed, um, the first layer, when it printed, it almost didn't print it in this central part because obviously I have some kind of a problem with the center of the bed that uh, BL touch didn't uh, compensate enough. So this part, so this part of the print was almost glued completely to it and missing when printing the first layer which is something I really don't think should happen uh, with BL touch. Uh, let's look at the warping here. As you can see, we do have here warping on this edge and if we compare it to the uh, spring steel sheet, you can see that this warping is a lot bigger or higher. I don't know how to put them. Let's put them like here. As you can see, spring steel did warp at this corner here. While if you look at the angles of the original Creality board, it started to warp around here. So this whole part was warped. While if we look at the spring steel, we can see this corner, something like this is warped. So this corner detached and started to warp upwards. If I put it on a straight out surface, the, the uh, warping is starts around here already. And if I put the spring steel sheet bed, first of all, I have to find where the warp is. Okay, it's here. It starts here. Okay, so this is the biggest difference. As you can see, this is warped in the original Creality Ender 3 Pro bed, flexible bed, and this part is warped with the uh, Energetic 3D spring steel sheet with the PEI sticker on it. I will probably repeat these tests a couple of times. I will try to change PLA. I will try to print it with the PETG, but I also ordered a new bed. I don't know when it will arrive. It's uh, again from Energetic. It's spring steel sheet uh, bed with the texture PEI uh, on it. So I hope that that one will have even bit better grip. And I also ordered a new sticker for my original Energetic bad since I want to repair the damage if I can repair it to what I did uh, when having issues with adhesion. So unfortunately I had issues with adhesion and nothing would uh, stick on the bed no matter what I print and then in desperation I just lowered it too low so the head was too low and it started to scratch on this surface. 
I hope that I will be able to remove the sticker, put the new one and compensate for any damage I made here. If not, as I said, I ordered additional spring steel sheet bed with the textured PEI and I ordered additional uh, PEI sticker. So no matter what, I will have at least two, if not three, workable pads. Let's remove this. As you can see, it sticks, but yet it also detaches very easily. This one is almost detached, yes. And look, let's look at this one. It detaches more easily. It doesn't just have that kind of a grip, which uh, somehow I would expect that this rough surface would have better grip than it does. Okay, so for the next test I want to do here and I want to do today, I want to do a vertical test, but I have to find a good print for that. I want to have as minimum as possible surface contact on a bed and as higher and heavier as possible load on that uh, on that point so we see that if this can hold the print or not so let's go to step two Let's look at the second attempt or second test. This time I was printing just a vertical tower 4 mm wide up to 100 mm in height. First I did a test on spring steel sheet with PAE on it and the second one was again on Creality. So let's take a look at the first prints, plural. Unfortunately, I had to do two prints and this was not fault of the printer, but my fault. I tried to get the time lapse with Octolapse and Octolapse unfortunately tries to move head out of the way at each layer change. So I had a problem that material would constantly cool down and heat up and the bed was moving in and out. So I ended up with this print. Then I stopped the Octolapse and start to do normal print and it went well uh, until around 60 millimeters. Let me check. Yeah, it's probably 64, 65 millimeter print was okay and after that it just detached and it started to wobble it was still connected to the bed plate or sitting on the bed plate, but it started to wobble and I ended up with print like this. Let's jump to the uh, Creality plate. So this is a Creality bed plate. Somehow it's still attached. It didn't fall off. But as you can see, what I was telling you in the previous test, there is a skirt here or brim here and it's lacking here because even with the BL touch, I'm just unable to get this central part to align. Uh, it just pops out out of the print. And let's check where the trouble started with the Creality. They started around 75 millimeters. So <laughs> if you look at this test alone, original Creality bed has better adhesion then spring steel bed. It is still attached. Let me pop it out. Up, as you can see, I had to use force. The one from the spring steel, as you can see, failed much earlier than this one. But then again, I would expect this type of test to be more successful on this type of plate because it has a texture on it and it's not as smooth as pay. If I am to make any kind of conclusion to this, it would be that I still have to test it more. I will try with the spring steel bed with the 
uh, texture PEI although I have both of them lately I've been using only this spring steel but unfortunately as I said I did damage it a bit I hope just that it's a sticker that's on top of it I hope I will be able to repair it but I did a lot of printing lately and I much prefer a texture on the bottom side to be uh, clean without any kind of a texture than those that have texture then again that's a personal preference and also depends on what are you printing and for what you will be using this print was the conclusion again we'll do a bit of more testing later if you have any kind of a comment or a question please leave it down below if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, all the links to the stl files i printed plus the link to this spring steel sheet bed with pay is uh, down in the description of the video if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe give me a thumbs up and i will be seeing you in 14 days in another episode of 3d printing bunker thank you bye bye and have fun